Democratic candidate Joe Biden took an Amtrak tour to seven eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania towns. On the final leg, Biden made his way to Cambria County. That trip was an opportunity to kind of showcase his administration's vision for the economy. Reporter Amanda Kenny has the visit from our sister station in Johnstown. Former Vice President Joe Biden arrived in Johnstown by train Wednesday night on his Build Back Better Express train tour. It was a drive-in event where he addressed the crowd, telling them why they should vote for him in November. Then Biden took some time to talk with WTAJ News one-on-one. -on -one. We asked him about whether or not he would support packing the Supreme Court. So can you tell me yes or no, do you continue to support leaving the court at nine justices? What I'm not going to do is play Trump's game. I want to focus now on what's happening and the violation of constitutional principle that he's violating by naming a justice after the election has started. So you're saying you won't say yes or no because you don't want that to become the story? I don't want that to become, that's his game all the time. And I'm not, I'm not being critical of you, I promise you. But it's, what's he do? Every time there's a problem, a question he doesn't want to answer, he raises a new question, a new issue. Biden also said he would not name his Supreme Court justice nominees, but promises it would be an African-American female. Then we asked him about fracking, which employs thousands in Pennsylvania. I can say unequivocally, we'll not ban fracking. No new fracking on federal land. We'll not ban fracking. We'll insist that water supply and methane leakage are, are taken care of. Pennsylvania also has one of the highest number of veterans living in the Commonwealth. Here's what he had to say about meeting veterans' health care needs. More veterans are dying in and out of the service from suicide than any other, any other means. It's because we have not gone out and do what we have to do. We have to make competitive salaries for psychiatrists and psychiatric nurses to work at the VA hospital. We have to raise salaries, entice them to come and work at the VA.